Okay, it's Tuesday the 6th of December. We're on the FTSE 100, so let's have a look at the market for today. Okay, so for me, really, the key level is this 6750 area. Um, I'll be watching at this zone for early morning trades, depending on how the market sets up, either to go long or to go short. Um, now, for overall analysis also, really I want to see how the market reacts here on the daily time frame. If we get a good close through this level, up above, um, it's you know it's opening the market back up for a potential move into the 6900 area. And we have resistance up above at 6850, but I would expect the market to make an attempt at the 6900 levels. If we start to fall back through this level today, um, it's just really reconfirming the weakness we've seen in the market since it broke out of our triangle. What we've also been going over on Sunday analysis videos especially is this whole triple bottom area where we're expecting the bullish bounce. It's exactly what we've seen. Um, basically the market gapped down um, after the weekend and then it has rallied up. This was also helped by the... Um, Italian volt. Basically, um, on the back of the no vote, money was moved out of Italy um, into what are considered safer havens. Um, I was expecting the money to be moved into the DAX. Um, certainly, not quite so much into the FTSE, but there you go, that's what we um, got. So now that we've seen the bounce off of the triple bottom, we're basically looking for the evidence of what the market is going to do now. And for me, the key for that is going to be this 6750 area. Oops. So on the five minute time frame, we can see this area right here. Let me just tighten up this rectangle. Uh, this area here, for me this morning, is the main one I'm going to be watching. And um, really, after that, it's up towards the 6800 level. And then we're back down toward the triple bottom. Those are the main areas I want to watch um, today. So what I'll do is at 4.30, um, at the close of the FTSE, we'll come back, we'll have a look at what the market did, and we'll go over what that suggests for the market moving forward. And zone traders, I'll take you through any potential setups for you for today. Okay, we're just about at 25 to 5. The FTSE is now closed, so let's have a look at this market from today. Uh, the first thing to say for me is it was a relatively frustrating day. Um, I was looking for um, a move down here this morning. However, there was not enough evidence up here to get me into a sell position, so I had to just watch the market pop down um, without me. It then congest congested and returned back up to resistance. I took a sell position at 9.35, wanting to watch wanting to watch these levels for reactions and with a target being down at these levels. My stop was up here somewhere. Um, the market comes down. It comes down relatively strongly, um, giving me the signal to wait for a stronger reaction down at these levels before I exit the trade. We get a push up here into all this congestion, which again was a signal to wait to see if the market was pushing up to retest before coming back down again. Then we get this strong candle here. This is my signal that the trade is incorrect. I get out as the market just breaks the high of the candle. Um, ended up with around about half a percent, just over half a percent loss. So, a losing trade. Um, as I always try and go over with traders, um, everyone loses trades. There's no professional trader in the world who doesn't lose trades. It's just, it's just not possible. It's a probabilities um, business. And too many um, trading educators out there gloss over losses. So they just post up the wins. They just show you the you know the bank statement that says, look at this trade, I won $8,000 or whatever it may be. Um, 
And what I find is that for beginners especially, it gives them an unrealistic, unrealistic expectation and they can't handle the losses. If you're suffering a loss that is part of your trading plan, it's absolutely normal as a trader. I lose trades, everybody loses trades. Um, the idea of being a trader is not to have no losses because it's just not possible. If that's what you're aiming for, you're just going to end up beating yourself um, up. This is also um, an example of cutting your losses early. So I'm sure you've all heard about that. This is the way I cut my losses early. I took a half percentage loss rather than a full percent loss. Um, and as mentioned, you can watch that in the um, live video. But you know, this trade was valid for my trading system, my trading plan. The loss, the exit was part of my trading plan. It's just part of trading, guys. Um, something you all need to understand and be able to accept. Um, is there anything else to go over with that trade? Not really. You can watch the live trade. Um, I'm well aware that I've not posted up a uh, losing trade in quite a number of months. Basically, I just post up the trades um, that I take with the review videos. So on the Tuesday, I review the FTSE. The live trade is whatever trade I take on the FTSE that day. On the Thursday, I review the Australian dollar, US dollar. The live trade is whatever trade I take on the Thursday. And um, I'd much rather do it that way. It means you get to see um, realistic trading because I, I can't cherry pick the trades that I take, which, as I've mentioned, is what too many trading educators do, and they just show you the winning trades. Um, it's I always find it's much more beneficial to see what it's really like. Now, the reason there's not been a losing trade posted is because I haven't had a losing trade on those days um, and on those markets. I have, you know, a high win rate when, with trading. I always try to aim for 75 to 80% um, winning trades. And, you know, that's, that's what I've been batting at for a number of years now. But when the losses come, like it did today, it will be posted up so you can watch it if you like. The market then comes down here. But again, there's just no clear um, cut price action to get me into a long position um, and that was everything from today guys we are sitting above this key level now we have accepted above it quite strongly so basically the market for me now is coming up to test the 6 8 10 levels and potentially if we start to um, see price action through this level it's going up to 6900 once again okay guys um on the Thursday, there will be no review video recorded, so it won't be posted on the Friday, nor will the trade. It's because I'm only going to be trading Thursday, Friday in the morning um, because I'm not going to be in Edinburgh. So, as always, I hope you've all had a good trading week. I'm James Orr, and thank you.